right? <clears throat> a one, a two, a one, two, three, let's do this. Hey everyone, this is Dusk Olamakas, that gamer, and this door, this game, is the last door. Do I know much about it? Hell no, but we're playing it. Uh, this is a game which was uh, donated a bit by its developers. They obviously want to get some word out for the game. Uh, the website will be in the description of the video. Uh, this is blind, though, so I don't really know too much about it besides it's a point-and-click core adventure game. 2D, pixely. That's okay with me, though, so new game. Oh, need to broaden the horizons of the window a little bit because apparently it takes up the whole screen here. Headphones in dark environment recommended. Well, I have both. Accessibility options while playing. Press 1 to enable disable dyslexia friendly font. Okay. Press 2 to enable disable descriptions of sounds. Hmm. You know, that, that's kind of nice. Uh, especially since, uh, well, it says uh, dysgraphia, but anyways, anyways, let's click to continue and see where this is going. After all the things I've seen. Oh. We're running straight into the game. So, our character, as I said, I I'm kind of imagining him having a certain hairstyle because of the way that he's... Ma maybe he might be kind of bald. Whatever. Pixels, you're supposed to use your imagination. Uh, how do you access your inventory, though? After all the things I've done. Okay, so... Uh, what we're doing right now is that we're playing this uh, point-and-click adventure game known as The Last Door. Uh, my impression is right now is that we're in some sort of abandoned house, or at least the attic, because everything has seems to have a sheet over it. And if everything has a sheet, that must mean that uh, this place is pretty desolate. Seems like he was sitting here having a good jolly old time trying to talk to himself, but yeah, after all the things he's seen and done, I guess what else would he do but sit in the attic all day? I'm going to assume that that black space over there is somehow important, or not, because he can't walk past that point. I can tell him to walk around places, but I'm not getting any work far, so space bar, let's... I... Hmm... Already in the progress of figuring out what to do. Well, there is a chair in the middle of the room, and I agree the chair is conspicuous, but I don't know what I'm supposed to do with it. And also, for people who don't know, I'm right now live-streaming this, so we'll have to see how it all goes and tumbles. I think what I need to do is figure out how to act- Wait, 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 wait! There's something on the roof. My life is on a, on a course that I can't escape from- Oh, he picked up the rope to hang himself, of course. All right, so we're about set up. I get it now. I get it. So we're supposed to hang ourselves, and that's what the chair is for, and the rope. Yeah, I should have seen that coming. All right, let's do this. It's too late for me now. I I would argue it's never too late, but still, whatever. He's he's got this all set up. It'd be a shame to back out now. Um. All right, so <clears throat> with all said and done, let's go a hanging. I just hope you could forgive me someday. All right. Kick the chair, and we're all set. Yours sincerely, Anthony Peachworth. There we go. Well, I would argue that a rope isn't a door, but you know, whatever. He found his escape. He's going to hell for it, probably. I'm not even a religious person, I can say that. Pro is just a little bit around bug just developed by those people. I'll let the opening play itself out, though. October 1891. Vudiet nesquis skiat. That's the only thing my dear old friend Anthony Beechworth wrote in his letter. It had been many years since I had last heard that sentence. It used to be the motto of the science and philosophy group that we secretly ran back when we were in that secluded, 
boarding school in Scotland. We left it all behind, like simple childhood memories. But it was unusual. The letter could only mean something awful must have happened. Something that must remain absolutely secret. I had to find out what was going on. Without delay, I took the first morning train to Sussex to the address on the letter. And there it was, the old home of Anthony's family, the Beechworth Mansion. Chapter 1. The Letter. Alright, so we're already set up. Now we have our handy dandy lens to investigate things. Apparently we're not good looking enough to investigate ourselves. Uh, I'm going to assume... Ooh, this actually way to the back of the house. Wait, wait. The fields surrounding the house stretch majestically as far as the eye can see. I didn't know Anthony was the owner of such properties. I also like how the character turns around. That's a nice touch. Alright, besides that, is there anything that we can say about the horizon? Uh, the fields are surrounded. Around... Yep, uh, we already read that. Uh, we can't go backwards, but we can go behind the house or into the house. Obviously, the first option would be to go behind the house before we go investigate the actual house. Oh, it sounds like there's a storm. Uh, is that a lot of crows eating something very viciously? Damn, crows. It's just rubbish. Very noteworthy. A murder of crows is eagerly eating something. Uh, if we walk close, will we scare them off or they eat me too? They're too vicious. Getting close would be dangerous. I'll take the back door. It's locked from the inside. Well, uh, have a nice feast, crows. I'll be inside if you need me. Alright, so let's go inside and see where this is going. This is weird. Everything is silent. Like, there's no living here. No one living here. I'm worried about Anthony. I have to find him. So I open up a book and take off my j Oh, actually, I just took off my jacket, but what is that there? Looks like a paper to me. A note on the table. Dear Mr. Beechworth, due to the recent events, the situation has become unbearable for us, and much to our regret, we have no other choice but to leave. We will remain forever grateful for all these years at your service. God bless you, Mr. and Mrs. Brewer. Alright, we got sign up here. A portrait of Anthony. He looks older than I expected. Uh, we have a clock here. A grandfather clock. It's the only sound around here. We could also go back outside. Or we go upstairs or over there. What do you guys say? To the left or to the right? We're going to have our character sort of march around so I can make him walk. Walk, my character. Walk. I like how he angles himself depending on the direction you're walking, though. Okay, so they're saying to go upstairs to the left. Okay, we have two votes to go upstairs to the left. Uh, okay, I usually sweep things by floors, but we'll go upstairs. The left is where it's at, apparently. Huh, I'll come back. I think there might be a lantern down here or something which I need. Alright, let's see. To our right... Uh, this is a gramophone. A gramophone! It looks rusty. A drinks cabinet with glasses, some crystal bottles, and a matchbox. Alright, we got a fireplace too. A fireplace! Looks like it hasn't been cleaned in a long time. Anything else over there? That large window is wide open, laying the cold dusk air in. Ha! <laughs> dusk. Uh, apparently we're not going to close it though. Apparently we like the nice old breeze. There's something up here too, isn't there? Only though these matches could be useful. There we go, we found what we needed matches. This is the door to the back. No, this is something else entirely. A landscape painting. Alright, how about this door over here? I like marching. Uh, my boots were made for marching, so into this room I go. Investigating the stove. The kitchen stoves and the cleaning cloth. Stoves is in multiple? God dang, Anthony must have been rich. They are very hungry. Plates and pans. I like how, how I just realized that Anthony was probably rich by the stove and not the house or the fact that he seemed to have had servants. A plate with some days old leftovers. That's a bad sign. A variety of cooking ingredients. Now this is the door that probably leads out to the crows. I unlocked the door. So this is where the crows are. Yep, the crows are still partying. Well, let them be. I would close the door if I was you, Anthony, but nope, he's just going to leave it wide open. Also, apparently, uh, well, let's see what's down here. A landscape painting. More than one, even. A crooked painting. Oh, oh. 
Come on, Anthony. Crooked paintings and giant mansions. Th think about this. Oh, an old rosary with solid root crucifix. Uh, can we take the crucifix? There we go, we all repent. The painting is on the floor and the frame is broken. Well, I bet Anthony's gonna be pissed. A landscape painting. Ah, uh, no, we don't need to know that. What about the plant? We all like plants. A small plant brings some life to this place. Okay. I'll take this door then. Why, hello you, but uh, let's see. Actually, that looks like, yep, that's a cross, but he's not gonna say anything about it. Some toiletries. What? Okay. Wait, 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 wait. Are you trying to... I assume that's a sink, hopefully, because it's kind of weird if this is the bathroom. That could be where they squat down. An empty bowl like the ones used to feed a pet. Okay. A lamp. It will come in handy. Which means I probably have to get up on the bed. Oh, oh, oh. In the wall, I can see the traces of a crucifix that was hanging there for years, and now it's gone. Let's read the good old note over here and piece together some of the puzzle here. March 5th, 1891. Master made us get rid of our religious objects. What is going on with them? Luckily, I found a place to hide my rosary. I can't pray every night without it. May 18th, 1891. Master has been complaining about Al Al Alfie? Al I guess that's Alfie. What would a simple cat do to him? He ordered us to keep him out of the house at all times. Still, I can't let that poor thing starve. He's such a clever cat. Every time I open the window, he knows food is waiting for him. Anyway, I'm worried about the master. He's growing more and more unlike himself every day. September 15th, 1891. Mr. Beechworth is spending whole days locked inside his office. He wants us to leave him food at the door, but he barely eats anything. I'm really worried. Well, it would be kind of worrying. Kitty cat, come in, you got food. The window won't stay open. Looks like the wood is giving up. I need some sort of cord to keep it open. Alright, we'll use the, that there. I'll keep the rosary with me better than leaving it there on the wall. Uh, how about on the window? Yeah, I was right. The rosary will keep the window open. Now I just need food. Uh, come on, get it. Yep, there we go. Smart. Uh, I thought I was actually going to get on top of the bed to get it, but we have a lamp. There's nothing of interest in these drawers. Oh, I thought there's something of interest in my drawer. No, I'm going to stop that there. I'm going to stop that train of thought there and just keep on going. I, you know, I'm actually enjoying this so far. Let's see. If we have a door over here, that means we can investigate. Open sesame. Feel at the door. Open. Oh, it's locked. It's padlocked. Well, that means we better go upstairs into that dark place where obviously all the dark secrets of this mansion lie. I also wonder if, actually, well, let me check the kitchen first. I probably need to get the cat in here for some reason. I don't know why I need a cat, but where is this food in? In the kitchen, of course. I played with some day over leftovers, so is there anything I've investigated in here? Plates and pans. Wait, there is something I didn't pick up here. An old cloth? The kitchen stoves. Okay, I'm not exactly sure if a cat wants an old cloth, but I'll keep it just in case. Who doesn't need a cat? Well, that's a fair point. Now, let's break on over this way. I let cats hate you. Really? A stuffed deer head. I, I would actually argue that it might be a moose deer, sir, but whatever. We'll, we'll let it run. We'll let it roll. Let's, let's go over this way. So, let's see. Uh, this game is the last door for people just coming in. I guess we better take some matches and put that in our lantern. There we go. I'm a puzzle genius, obviously, because like no one else could have figured that one out. All right, so we got um, all sorts of things. Uh, maybe I can light this candle. Take on some matches. Nope, doesn't work like that. All right, can I open up this door? Uh-oh, it won't open. And the fact there's a lot of paintings around it is very suggestive to the fact it's probably important. I wonder if you get chased by things in this game. Hmm. Some wooded planks have been nailed to this doorway. Cool. There's also a missing painting here. Looks like some of the paintings are missing. I sense a puzzle coming on. Alright, let's go through here. Hmm. Probably his bedroom. A double bed. It's covered in dust. Seems like no one has slept here for ages. Is there something on the table there too? A silver key. Any 
Yep, yeah, I was gonna say, pick up that silver key, that's probably important. The fireplace hasn't been used for a long time. That's a shame, you know. I, if, if I had a fireplace in my bedroom, I'd fucking use it. I think it sounds romantic. A gentleman with a serious and exquisite look. And there's something, I guess there's a balcony out here? The window leads to a balcony that communicates within the adjacent room. Alright, well, let's first investigate all these things. Family portraits. That's a lot of family portraits. Now, before I go outside to the balcony, I'm gonna take the liberty to go outside and try and get myself a good old checking out in this way. Where'd the creepy music go? It's locked with a key. The key doesn't fit the lock. Alright, you know what? I'll go outside. Let's just go outside and enjoy our fun time. Also, uh, developers. If there was supposed to be music that played when I went back there, I think that might have been glitched because the music was kind of loud for a dark hallway like that. I'll fill the door and go this way. I can't open the latch. It's stuck. Brass, I could force it with a small tool. Like a silver key. The key is too thick. I need something thinner to remove the latch. Old cloth? Nope. I was just denied there. Well, that's a shame. I'll the... Not the old cloth. How about the? How about Matt? Nope. I don't know why I thought that would work, but all right. So we have to find out where this key goes to. I got a few potential ideas if I do say so myself. It's obviously not the door that's boarded up all crazily. Uh, so let's use this key. Not over here. There's also a painting missing there. I wonder what's up with the missing paintings. The key doesn't fit this lock. Okay, so it is one of the downstairs areas. I like how after you've been to an area, you can just speed run through it. Oh uh, yeah, the painting on the floor and the frame is broken. Got it. So it's probably a locked door in this direction. Am I correct, Mr. Main Character Guy? Because there was a padlocked door over here. Oh my, another obvious puzzle. Genius! Huh. It sure is dark in here. Be a shame if something deadly was around. A slate record titled The Carnival of Venice. I'll take that. Okay, we got ourselves a painting. Brilliant, brilliant, real touching. Alright. Huh. There was a sound coming from behind me. I can tell because the surround sound headphones are doing their job. Some firewood. I'll take a million. An iron crowbar. Come on, take that. You know you want it. Who doesn't like crowbars? Probably play off the wood with that. The boiler looks like it's been out of use for a long time. Hmm, that's a shame. The cement is still fresh in this wall. I can't use a crowbar. I can't break down the wall with this. Well, luckily I knew you had to break down the wall. Anyways, let's go back the long way out of here with the strange noises playing everywhere, because that sounds pretty cool to me. Okay. Just on walking on heaven's door, marching on heaven's door. All right, so we got we we got a place to go back upstairs. Before I go upstairs, is there anything? In this nope. There's nothing, there's nothing over there. So the crowbar is probably to remove the wood, or probably actually to open up the balcony area. You could probably use it to remove wood too, but I'm not sure if I have faith in our character to do that. All right, so move. Wait, 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 wait. Record. Now there's a record on the gramophone. Play that shit, brother. It must be broken. I don't know how to make it stop. The music stopped abruptly. Oh, let's take a look over there then. Oh! Hi, crows! Don't make any sudden movements. The crows are here. Uh-huh. Bye. Wait, wait, wait. Crow, don't move. I'm not moving. I'm not. Sh be careful, they're all around me. <laughs> um. Hi, Chris. Well, that could have gotten better. Hey, Crows, you want to hear a knock knock joke? Uh, knock knock! 
Knock, knock! Okay, I'll take that as who's there. Um, what, what, what uh, cr cr crow! C come on. Oh, maybe car. Yeah, car! Car who, you say? Uh, car for you, because you're a bunch of crows! <laughs> oh, dearest me, I crack myself up. Anyways, though, uh, let's go on upstairs, it'll be fine. Alright, so I'm gonna guess that probably, just maybe, we can't open this up over here. <laughs> okay, Zach, I know you want your money back for that terrible knock-knock joke. Let's see, can I, can I apply this? Yeah, that's actually what I was supposed to do. Not what I was expecting. Oh, well, let's go in. For God's sake, what happened here? There's a woman in a bed, and there's writing on the walls. The writing on the walls reads, Leave me alone. Who would have written such a thing? The lifeless body of a woman. It's been here for a few days. Looks like she's clutching a note in her hand. It's a letter. Dear Margaret, it's been a few it's been days since Anthony left his office. I can hear him whisper angrily, frightfully, and it gets worse at night. Our servants left a few days ago. Without their help and care, I'm lost. I can barely walk out of bed. Not even the doctor would come here after the argument with Anthony. He has developed this horrible ability to break anyone's will. I don't know what to do. I don't have any strength left. I wish I could send you this letter. Your dear friend. Well, what does this letter over here say? Music stop. A letter in feeble handwriting. I can't go on. All is lost. How about you? What do you have to say? It's a diary page. I can't stand their stares. They watch me. They judge me. They despise me. I know they think I'm not worthy of this family. Who are they but dust and bones? A memory. Leave me. I don't need you. Leave me alone. All right, I'm over here. Nothing of interest in this dressing table. Oh, how about the... Okay, how about the wheelchair? An old wheelchair. Now take the note. Take it from her. Let her have nothing. I'm writing what will surely be my final thoughts. My last lines. My last breath. I don't know what kind of dark powers has turned my husband to what he is now. A stranger. With a look bef... Or, well, with a look ber... Or I guess bereft of all sanity. Compassion and human warmth. I don't know what shadow that slowly darkened. I don't know that shadow that slowly darkened our lives. I don't know this foreign host that now dwell in our souls. I don't know where it's from, but I'm sure it is not from this world. I will meet my brothers and sisters soon. I will be free from the abyss of madness and fear. Soon, I will stop trembling. You know this is actually pretty well written. And what did you drop, Missy? A hairpin. I think you put that in your hair, ma'am. Not in a. Ah, uh, well, I'll take it. That's probably to free the other thing. Okay, so we can... Apparently she has the memo forever on her. So let's, let's check this dark corner of the world over here. Yeah, I guess there's nothing else to check. Yeah, let's check out the dark corner. Paintings. A bunch of them. A young Anthony, just like I remember him. An adult woman. She looks really pale. A woman holding a baby. She looks happy. An old, severe-looking man. His gaze unsettles me. A teenage girl. She has a sad face. A young man. One of Anthony's relatives. And something which I must look at over there. A portrait of Anthony with a stuffed Linux. Looks like he's very proud. Of his valued animal. The paint looks fresher around the Linux's head. Alright, so maybe the old cloth? That would just spread out the fresh paint. Uh, want me to burn it? No, okay, no. Uh, probably not the hairpin. Nope, didn't think it was. Probably not supposed to burn it either, so... Yeah, okay, so we need something with the old cloth. Got it. Uh, so back out I go. That means we have to go outside to the next area and probably use the hairpin on here. I think I might be onto something. There we dearest go. I managed to open the latch. Outside we go. This okay, yeah, this is the area. A stuffed Linux. Looks like the one in Anthony's portrait. So I wasn't the only one who noticed. There's also a ladder up there. A re re okay, a reinforced metal trapdoor. 
there's a golden keyhole. Dearest I, this is gained Resident Evil like. A map of the region with markings on it. Can I take that? That'd be kind of nice to have. I guess not. A few press cuttings pinned to the wall. The Illustrated London News, 1887. Judge kills himself under strange circumstances. The Daily Telegraph, 1888. Earl found dead floating in the Thomas. The Times, 1889. A famous actor found bled to death in his hotel room. All very pleasant stories. I'm very happy Anthony kept this here. Some strange books. They're written in a language I don't know. Remains of our chemical experiments. Some sort of spilled chemical product. A common hammer in good condition. That's why you take it. Some torn out pages. They won't bother me anymore. I'm done with their censorous gazes, their whispers. It's all ready. There's only one thing left to do. Kill yourself, I'm guessing. Is that what we're getting to? Whatever, I'll take whatever this is. Things it's, it's gonna unlock the door. I've unlocked the door. And now I've got a hammer, so no one you all be damn afraid of me. Let's cross the hammers for up here. No, it's not. Alright. Now this one actually confuses me. Where the hell do I need a hammer? No, no I'm, I'm honest. Where the hell do I use a hammer? Uh, I know there's something inside this. I'm pretty sure I'm not supposed to hammer it, but <laughs> decided to try anyway. Alright, so I have an old cloth I haven't done anything with either. Where or oh, where do I use an old cloth and a hammer? All these strange puzzles to figure out. Hogwashery, I call it. No, I'm just kidding. Oh, you're right, the chemicals with the old cloth. You're on to something, Zach. I should have thought of that myself, because the chemical compounds I had cloth to dilute the paint. Yes! He didn't say all that, but I realized what he meant as soon as he said that. Okay, not there. Uh... Oh. No, 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 no. Apparently our genius idea wasn't good enough. It's okay. It was worth the effort. I don't blame you. I just blame myself. Alright. It sounded like a good idea to me, too. So, back to the darkness we go. Trop, trop, tropping on booty's toes. Maybe I'm supposed to scare away the crows. You know what? I, yes. Yes. Wait, 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 wait. I, I was about to say that. I was about to say that. Since the crows are all right now inside that room, I bet there's no crows in there. Hey, crows! Want to hear another funny knock-knock joke? What does the man full of crows... I'd be full in a room... Of, no, I, don't, I don't want to be full of crows. But what does the man in the room full of crows say when, 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 when surrounded by crows? He says... Gotta balk you later! Ho oh, ho! Jesus! I slapped my knee! Yeah, he's a terrible jokester in my version of him. Alright, yeah, there's only a few crows left and I can hammer them. I'm a murderous animal! Take him out of his misery! I'd rather not kill it like that. Wanna, wanna put it out with its cloth? There's a dying crow amidst a pool of blood. Why'd you put a dead crow in your pocket? A pool of blood. The remains of the banquet. What are you... What? What the... Okay. You're right, it is food for the cat. I actually figured that out, though. I was just gonna walk over here, but I'm still wondering why you're like, uh... Shut up, crow! I'm putting you out of your misery! Actually... Hey, look, all the crows are gone. I wanted to get all them a funny story involving this dead crow. I was going to make it act like a puppet. And it was going to dance around in front of all the other crows. I thought it was hilarious. Anyways, let's uh, put this over here. Now, anyways, bird, stop sounding like a fucking monster, and now you're going to get eaten. Kitty cat, the crow is in the bowl. Do I just wait here for nature to take its course? Do I leave and then come back? What, what, what am I supposed to be doing? Maybe I do it like this. No, I guess I leave and then come back. Q 
kitty cat. Eat the damn crow already. Someone eat it. I'll eat it. God damn, I'm hungry. No, just kidding. Uh, hold on, we have to wait a second. I need to, I need to think about this for a second. Uh, let's see. How do I get the kitty cat to come? Wait, wait, wait. The window's fixed. I know the window's fixed, but how do I get the cat to come and eat the crow? Kitty. Am I supposed to do something to call the cat? Kitty cat. Kitty cat. There's food for you in the bowl. I prepared it just for you. Just for you. I'd like it if you could come and take a snippy snap at the kitty cat treat I've prepared in your bowl. I tried bashing it with a hammer. Can I cook it? Like... Well, where did the crow go? I hear a cat meowing in the distance. The crow is gone and there's some blood left. Huh. There's a trail of blood from the bowl to the hole in the wall. Ah, that's one weird sounding cat. Kitty cat, where art thou at? That'd be to the basement, I guess? The cat's meow is louder here. Kitty cat, kitty, I'd like to bring you a snacky pack. I, I sacrificed the crow to you, my cat god. Accept it. Oh, I have the hammer to break the wall down here, of course. It all makes sense now. The cat seems to be meowing from behind this wall. Got it. I forgot about this. The cat seems to be meowing from behind this wall. On top of the chest, there's a black cat. His eyes are missing. Good God, it almost ripped my eyes out. He's run to the darkness. There's an open chest with a dark cloak, a mask, and a knife. I'll take it all. Only this knife can be useful. Oh, come on. A dark cloak and a mask that were probably worn by some sort of murderer? Sounds romantic. There's nothing else useful here. Alright, you tell yourself that. Alright, so I have a knife. What uh, so ever am I using a knife for? To kill the cat? I can, I'm okay with that. Fucking cat ungrateful bastard. Kitty cat, where art thou at? The eyeless, eyeless kitty cat. I have a bad feeling about this. Hmm. Let's go over this way. Over here. Nothing. So I have a knife now. I wonder. Maybe the knife can be used on the painting. To get out the pot with a new paint. I don't know what I'm talking about, but I'm gonna try it anyway. Doesn't really sound like the right response. Can I turn the record back on? I'd better leave it. That was beautiful, beautiful music playing before. You can't deny that was in the, was the work of a master. I'm going upstairs. Was this door ever open? Won't open. Probably won't open with a knife either. It's too big to force the lock. Well, that's a shame. That's a damn shame. So I guess I'm going over here to try my best luck at trying to scaffold this out. Nope, that's not an option. Can I cut her throat and make it look like- Nope, no, okay. Oh, my dark thoughts. I don't need him there. Where I'm going, we don't need that door. Up there? Nope, um, chemicals? No, I don't get one. Wait, I tried stabbing the dead chick already. Right. I knew it wasn't gonna work. Stab the paintings. You, and you, and you, and you. I'm a murderer of paintings! Murdering real people? Oh, dearest me, never. But I would love to stab some paintings. Who here? Alright. Stab that. Stab that. That too. Stab anything that moves. Oh, the, the cat. I don't see why I should do that. Come on. Come on. There, stab the eyes out of the Linux cat. It's symbolic. I think. About the cloth. No, no. 
Whatever do you want me to do with this? There's a door up there I cannot open. There's chemicals there I cannot meddle with. There's chemicals there, there's a note, and there's a cat. You say something to the cat, but I thought that was pretty brilliant. I still say they say cut the hole in the wall. It looks like there's a jar in the chemistry set. A can of the I damn the cloth with thinner. Alright. No, obviously what this is for. Epic Mickey taught me. <laughs> Let's see. Wipe that shit away. The thinner was has worked. The first paint around the Linux's head is now gone. I could see the original painting. This Linux is different. Its mouth is open as if it was growling. Knife it. That's cool and all. What was the point of that? I'm probably supposed to work with the fake Linux and make that happen. Alright, fake Linux. A sub Linux. Looks like the one in the 3D's portrait, but its mouth is shut, like it was before I revealed the original painting. I know, which means they use the knife and try to open that jaw. Yeah, to open its mouth to you. I managed to get the Linux's mouth open. The ton has been removed. There's a golden key instead. I'll take that key and use that up there. Oh, dears me, I'm a genius. This is where he hung himself, right? Yep. Oh, God, no! Anthony, no! A down, boy, down! A portrait of Anna, Anthony's wife. Looks like those were happier times. The lifeless body of my dear friend. Can I touch him? Yes, I can touch him. Oh, yes, Anthony. There's a sealed letter in his pocket. Dear J. DeVitt, If you're reading these lines, then I am nothing but a dead body hanging before you. I will write to you in my last shreds of lucidity. Of lucidity. You can possibly know how pleased I am knowing that you arrived on time. You are one of my oldest friends, and when I sent you the letter asking you to come here, I didn't doubt for one moment that you would. Had you failed me this night, everything would be lost. I have found myself involved in a series of horrible incidents. For reasons beyond my comprehension and sanity, I have become a total stranger to myself and to my closet relatives, capable of the most indescribable and atrocious acts. I can't give you any more details now. I must ask you to go immediately back to the boarding school, where we made this pact. Where we all said that sentence that would always protect us and swore with our honor before the other members. This letter must not reach anyone else, so I'd like you to destroy it immediately. The lives of the rest of the group and yours are in great danger. Do not delay, they are already waiting for you. Saying is believing, Debit. Don't forget it. Always your loyal friend, Anthony Beechworth. They are close! Eat them! Eat them all up! Fucking crows are my survival horror enemies. Anyways, that was the first chapter of The Last Door. Ah, I don't know what's up with the crows. There probably have a reason, but the fucking crows! I think people already know my dislike for crows and other flying enemies and these type of things. So anyways, that was the first chapter of The Last Door. Uh, the Last Door will be soon available for purchase, and that includes all future episodes and chapters and all that. I, I actually really liked it. I, the story has me intrigued. The puzzle gameplay is fun, but not to the point where it's really frustrating. And, and you know, the style, like, well, of course, there's a lot of game style like this. I understand why as a new developer, so... Now then. So, this has been The Last Door. Uh, I'm going to stop and start the screen for YouTube purposes.